Okay, guys, this girl's name is Shelby Snaz. So uh, as you've seen, she uh, met this guy. He's in a rock band. I had to turn the music off because they're gonna flag my shit. She's getting excited. She's taking extra shifts. She's counting down the weeks, the days, the minutes. Look at her, she's just happy as hell. She starts planning the activities and she's just excited. I don't even think he knows this video is being made. She's a content creator on TikTok. So like what she's trying to do was like make this cute little video for the day that they meet. And all of this like promotion or views will go to their songs. And now the day has come and she's about to meet him. But the craziest thing happens, he never showed. So it's like, oh. So guys, I go to the comments. A lot of band members are like this. Don't worry, girl. He missed out on an amazing, beautiful woman. I'm sorry. You deserve so much better. He missed out. You're freaking beautiful. But guys, things got interesting because there was other comments. If you ask me, he should send his boss a big thank you gift basket for helping him dodge this huge red flag. He dodged a bullet. Girl, I was on your side at first. Lamayo, after seeing his receipts, this is extra funny. So I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. Did the boyfriend or the guy, whatever, did he make a TikTok? He responded? So I go looking for the channel and I find this. There's a guy over here named Mitch and he's in a band called American Dream Machine. And he just posted a video and it's had 2 million views, bro. So let's watch this shit, y'all. Oh, snap. So get your tea and get your snacks. Because you already know. This is about to be good. <laughs> Ooh, my man came with the receipts. All right, here it is. Just so you guys know, I was super excited to go see this girl. She had insanely good pickup lines, and she made me pee my pants laughing a few times. So I bought a plane ticket to go visit her in Phoenix uh, next week, which uh, actually hasn't happened yet. I submitted a time off request form for my job, which a few weeks later got returned to me denied okay i shot it over to her as soon as i got the news and she was not happy about it neither was i i was really bummed but i truly 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 need this job because i have some medical issues that need to be taken care of and this job offers me insurance yeah she was pretty upset uh once again this hasn't actually happened yet so saturday while i'm at work i get this text I get sent this video and she let you guys drag me and my band through the mud and I mean over half a million people drag me through the mud and she just let it happen let it happen let it happen and I'm over here like you know I really couldn't get the days off I am sorry but I you know I just couldn't do it 12,000 views for me ditching you. You're welcome. I didn't ditch you. In the same breath, admits that I didn't ditch her, and we both know it. We both know that nobody got ditched, nobody got ghosted. And I said, hey, please, these people are brutal. Can you please just take it down? And she says, no. So I do want to say thank you to everybody that uh, said positive things, I guess, and checked out my band. But you people wanted the receipts, and this is America where you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. So, there you go. She really said, oh my god, 13k people hate you. Sorry. Fuck, we're at 25k. It's almost like, either show up, show up for our date, or I'm gonna let this hate shit go as far as possible. I'm gonna let the whole world hate you if you don't show up. That's what it, that's what it looks like. What's crazy is that all these people over here talking mad shit about him because of her video. He asked her to delete it and she says no. Guys, I be on social media a lot. There's only one reason to say no. You like those views and you like that attention that you're getting. She says she made the video for him. But if he says take it down, you say no. Doesn't sound like it's for him anymore. It sounds like it's for you. And she's petty that he didn't show up. And that's just cr that's a crazy level of pettiness. I'm so sorry this happened to you. It's not right nor fair. I really hope you're doing well. Don't let this drag you down, man. Best of wishes. Everyone's, everybody's taking back their hate. Sorry for, for, sorry for talking shit about you, bro. You dodged a major bullet. Chick is clearly petty and vindictive. For real. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For real. Bro's getting dragged for a 4 out of 10 chick. <laughs> Not worth it. Crap. I really felt bad for her. I'm sorry for jumping the gun. I'm glad you posted your side. That was um, pretty shady as F of her. 
So now everybody was like, oh, damn, we fucked up. So you know what they do? Everybody heads back to her channel. Which is why everybody was like, yo, I saw the receipts. You tripping. He dodged it. You said you dodged a bullet. He dodged a bullet. <laughs> so guys, she made another video to explain her side. She said, I'm about to explain myself. This ain't right. Okay, let me try and record this video again. Uh, my name's Shelby, and if you haven't been following me and a guy I was talking to accidentally started a TikTok war in our comment sections of videos that we made about each other. If you're new here, just go watch them. Too much to explain. Um, but I'm coming on here because first and foremost, I would like to apologize to you, Mitch, for if your feelings got hurt in any way. I didn't want, I didn't mean for anybody to see you in a bad light. And, um... I obviously took my video down, I went private, because I've been taking the past couple days um, thinking about how I could have handled things differently. Um, also, I had to write some stuff down, so if I'm looking over here, sorry. Uh, first, I definitely should have asked, or should have stated in the first video at the very end, like, hey, he couldn't come, but it's because he couldn't get off work. I'm really sorry I was vague, um, but for the record, never said that you ghosted me. That became a narrative that the people in the comment section started, so can't put that one on me. <laughs> um. Okay, I genuinely think she wasn't trying to like send hate his way. I don't think it was on purpose. But for her to say that wasn't on her is like wild. And she already agreed her choice of words was bad. But if me and you have a date planned and something came up where you have to cancel it, it would make more sense if I made the video and said he couldn't come. But she said, never mind, he didn't come. It's so vague that everyone that watches this is going to say he didn't want to come or he didn't show. She's saying since it was vague, it's not my fault that you built that narrative, which is fine. But, but you still kept the video up knowing that everyone believed that narrative. And he asked you to take it down. And first you say no, knowing that everyone believed that narrative. Is it your fault that people came up with that narrative? Partially, not really. Is it your fault that more people took in this narrative because you left the video up knowing that they thought it that way? Yes. Found out that he couldn't come. He let me know 100% that he, like right away, right as soon as he found out, he told me that he couldn't come. We were both upset. Um, I even tried to like suggest some alternatives or stay positive about it. You can't see here because his head's in the way. So yeah, get credit for a plane ticket and then we can plan this again. So, everybody on Mitch's video clearly did not understand this or he didn't explain it correctly because I also never told him to quit his job. That's insane. The only thing I said was once my video was posted and it was going viral, I was like, haha, now you got to visit Friday because you're going to go viral. <laughs> Shelby, I, I love you, but you, we, we read the text. This is a haha to you? You said, oh my God, 13K people hate you. Look at this emoji. Sorry. You're sorry? You better get Friday off now, even though you already told me you can't come because otherwise the hate's not going to stop. Look, it's blowing up. Shelby, is this a haha? -ha? Come on. He posted this video and then took it down shortly after that he calls me like a crybaby and a crazy person and all this stuff. And all the women in my comments didn't like that. So then they started freaking out on him. Not before then. So, again, I'm sorry I didn't take the video down when you wanted me to, but uh, your video hurt my feelings. Like, how would anybody feel if somebody that you liked wrote a malicious song about you after you posted a video that you thought was cute? Um, and then you can see that Mitch agrees in the comments here. Basically, uh, all press is good press. So, kind of hypocritical to me. So you're saying he never actually got hate because of your video? He got hate for making a song about how he feels about you when it came to the this video that you made about him and the hate that he received because of your video. And not only that, you told him that you didn't want to delete it. So he thinks you're a crazy bitch. <laughs> this sounds like some real like tit for tat shit now. Another thing, you said you privated the video or like deleted it or whatever, but it's still right there. Someone in the comments said that, but it's not private. And she said, I made it private for context after his band started talking shit on their live about me. I'll fight petty with petty now, ha. Huh? 
the only reason they don't like you is because you wanted to keep the video up and you even was like kind of threatening him that if he doesn't show up on Friday, you're going to let the video keep riding up and get the hate. The hate's going to keep going up. We saw the text. It's like you're mad about how they feel about you, but it's valid. Come on, Shelby. Come on, Shelby. Comments like this, though, in a section, so we can appreciate that. Um, but once he posted his response video, um, this is where I have a problem with it. Not his actual video. I thought it was edited really great, and I know that he'd been working on editing, so I can give him credit for that. But what happened and the fact he didn't do anything to stop it is where I have my problem. So I wake up Monday morning to messages and comments like this. Like, these are literally the people that are commenting on his video, and he's engaging in the, with them and encouraging this behavior. You know, he makes a huge deal in his video of how I let people drag him through the mud. You did. But what I woke up to Monday morning was totally unacceptable. Um, the last conversation I had with him was a funny text saying, congrats on your viral video, because who doesn't love a good response video? And what? just the way that certain things got misconstrued, though, and the behavior of the people who took his side, I think is disgusting. It's volatile. It's nauseating. I started getting flooded with messages and comments, so I reached out to him. I don't think anybody can blame me for being upset about the comments that people were saying about me, and he wasn't doing anything about it. Didn't try to defend me. He was just egging him on, and so you I did the same thing. Trying to be like, hey, like help me out. No response. Um, and it's even worse because he was commenting negative things to people and encouraging them to be assholes, and I did literally the opposite. So, who really got drugged through the mud here? That's some, like, that, that was some, like, really, like, victim-type things to say. Who really got dragged through the mud, for real? It's just like, bro, this whole thing started from your video that you didn't want to delete. He had hate comments, hate mail, all that. He had all that. He showed, he told you. You told him he had hate. And the best way to stop it was deleting the video. So, like, for you to be like, he didn't care, but you didn't care, why would you think he would show that same kind of, like, respect when you kind of didn't respect him and now you want to say i'm the one that got dragged in the mud i can't look what he did to me come on bro come shelby shelby TikTok. on both mine and his videos people made up a narrative that was absolutely not true they warped both of our videos into something totally wrong and obviously it went viral and now plenty of people are making stitches and duets and analyzing everything and i get it it's TikTok. um but if you as a consumer and you as a TikTok user support harassment, comments insulting a three-year-old boy, oh my, my God. son, you are the problem. You're going to bring a kid into this now? And on top of that, I've had uh, creeps trying to find out where I work, threatening to contact them. Don't know what you'd say. Uh, trying to find out where I live, trying to add my personal <sighs> Instagram and Facebook, which have never been public. And at this point, it's honestly a safety issue. I'm a single mom with a three-year-old some random person from TikTok could just come to my work or find out where I live, like, and Mitch, you're not doing anything to try to mitigate that? I get it. No one deserves to have, like, people kind of stalk them, death threats, all that shit. Totally get it. But what you kind of did was, what I did was wrong, and what he did was wrong, too. But I have a kid, okay? So, like, this makes it a lot worse for my side. So, Mitch, for you not to do nothing about it, which what, did you, what do you want to do? Do you think that one response or like one reply comment was going to end it? No. The only way that was going to end is if he deleted his video, which is what you also did not want to do. You could have protected your kid and ended the whole thing by by deleting your video. So it's like you're trying to blame him so much, but you could have just you could have you played such a big role in this, bro. You could have ended it in the beginning. But you wanted to be petty. But anyways, I digress. In conclusion, like I said, everyone's like, "Oh, she lied. She lied." I never lied about anything. And I wasn't trying to play the victim. I was sad, legitimately sad, that somebody that I was excited to come visit me wasn't able to come. So I tried to make a cute video and promote his band. So, Mitch, again, I'm sorry for any craziness that shouldn't have happened because of what I did on my part. She's saying she's not trying to like look like a victim, even though she's kind of blaming him for a lot of this. She did apologize, though, so that's a real one. At least she apologized. I love that. I love that. I love that. But, like, does she really care, to be honest with you guys? But the video is still up, bro. So, obviously, she don't she don't care that much. She want to keep the views. She basically wants Mitch to take down a video that's giving her, like, threats to her and her child. 
But then she has a video that's been getting threats sent to him. And so she keeps her video up. But he don't got a kid, so he don't got as much to worry about. You got a kid, so like, come on, Shelby. Shelby, be the big person, let this go. You gonna have to let this go, bro. Protect, if it ain't for you, for your child, okay? You don't wanna be petty and then affect your child, bro. That don't make no sense. Also, you shouldn't have even posted your child in the first place. All you mothers be forgetting. This is the internet, and the internet is a fucking, it's a jungle, it's a free for all. An anonymous person with a troll picture profile is gonna use every bit of ammo that he can because he don't give a fuck. So posting your child on a public social media page is just irresponsible. Especially TikTok, because it's just an algorithm where anyone can access your stuff. I don't know if you guys have heard the story, right? Where kids will have Instagram accounts. There was this girl that was 11 years old and she had 170,000 followers. This guy named Adam said he didn't even have to scroll to see questionable accounts. The profile was a picture of a clown and he was only following 11 people and they were all young girls. I'm just saying, y'all, putting your kid on social media, you're putting them at risk. As I always say, guys, what do you think about this? Guys, we are becoming a problem. 1.5 mil and Facebook kept banning us. So we made a YouTube. We kept putting in the work and now we're getting a play button, y'all. We about to get a play button. Now, as I told you guys, I'm really a music artist. I love making music, but I make all these videos because you like them. So can you please follow the page for me? Now outside of all this, remember dead gang, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far to end it right here. Did you forget all that work you just put in? I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and on dead in them, we ain't going out like no weak motherfucker. If they want us out the game, they are gonna have to take it from us. So when this video goes off, don't forget to pop your shit star. I would have done anything, all you had to do was ask And all of the damage is done, I can't imagine ever taking you back Is it that hard to keep it a stack, cause all of your promises looking like cap Cause when I was calling your phone, I already knew where you at <laughs> I tried to give you a chance, while you doing me dirty I thought you'd be the last one to hurt me Till you put a knife in my back, you cannot say I didn't love you to death Baby, I knew you was bad for my health, but I thought I was covered by reinsurance That you would give me, it kills me to know that I would give a kidney if you got sick just to find out what you really had wanted on all this time you were hitting a lick Don't try to tell me I'm misunderstanding You know I don't know, I like to be gaslit This ain't the first time you ever did fraud It's just the first time that you got caught Man